Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Sorry about the noise today. I do have my washer and dryer running. I wanted to bring you guys these Ancestral DNA results because I have been so ecstatic about these. Let me go ahead and give you the backstory. So, first things first. It did take about eight weeks. I ordered my Ancestral DNA um, on Black Friday because there was a sale going. So I was able to catch it for $79. Um, which is pretty great, but if you're interested right now, I think they have a sale on where it is $69, so that's awesome. They send you this box so you can send it back, and in that box it contains this tube, and it also contains like this blue activator liquid, and so you just spit into the um, tube, and you just have to make sure that you didn't, like, I think it was smoke, drink, or eat within the last hour or something like that. Um, and so you spit in the tube, and then once you're finished, you put the activator in it, you shake it in there, whatever, let it shake up, um, put that little baby back in the box that they gave you, and we're going to send it right out. Let's go ahead and dive right into these results. <sighs> okay, so I got the email, says your results are ready. When that email comes through, this is the main screen. Um, that you're gonna see and you'll see it comes with DNA matches, DNA circles, and also your DNA story. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my DNA story and that gives me a full breakdown of my percentages. So it doesn't give me the percent per continent, but just from me adding this up, I see I have 30% Cameroon, Congo, so um, Cameroonian, Congolese, and then I've got 26% from Benin and Togo. I've got 18% from Ivory Coast in Ghana. Shout out to Ghana because I got some family members from there um, through marriage, of course. 9% Senegal. Shout out Senegal. 7% Nigeria, Nigeria. You already know. So all of that together is about 90%. The website as well, they just show like different time areas. So 1850, 1875, 1900, 1925. So cool to see how far back this actually goes. So um, when I actually go and cl click on the on the percentages and on the like region that they're giving me, it gives an overview of that region. And also you can find like when you click read more, it also gives you pretty much like an overview on like the terrain, um, the climate, and it also gives you an overview of the history on these places. Um, so I did a little bit of reading on that, and it's. It's just so dope, really. It's just so dope. And I have not stopped looking at this since I looked into it. So moving on from Cameroon and Congo. Um, here is Benin and Togo. And I've been calling it Benin <laughs> ever since I found out until I looked and saw another video where somebody called it Benin. Um, Ivory Coast, Ghana. That's so cool. Um, yeah. Senegal. Nigeria, I've got some family members from there too, also married in the family. So you can see with all of these beautiful mixes of people around me, I've just been craving to know like, yeah, I got black pride, but you know what I'm saying? What is that? What is that composed of? What is that made of? So it's been really cool. As far as like my low confidence regions, I've got Iberian Peninsula and I've got 4% of that. So your girl is 4% Spanish. Portuguese, whatever area that is, um, specifically, which is cool because I've always been fascinated with Spain. I've actually been there one time, and that makes me happy. Um, I've got a little percentage of Africa South Central Hunter Gatherers, which is like South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, um, and that's 2% of African South Central Hunter Gatherers. Um, and then I definitely have, I said definitely, right? I definitely have 1%. Finland, Northwest Russia in me. So you already know your girl helped out with the election. Don't even find I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding for those who can't take a joke. I've got 1% Mali in me, which is cool. Um, Cause literally my favorite makeup artist, her name is Mali and it's spelled the exact same way. King Mali Magic, shout out, shout out to her. Then I've got like less than 1% of Central Asia, which is like Afghanistan, Tajikistan, all of that stuff. Also have less than 1% of Middle East, which is Syria, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Yemen, the, that area. So it's really, really interesting. Um, and then also, like when I go to click on like the different time periods that they give me, it shows where my family's people scatter, which is also really interesting because my father, from what I know, is from his family's from Florida, and then they migrated up to New York. 
and my mother's family is from Mississippi and they migrated. Some of them went up to Illinois, like Chicago area. But when I look into 1850, like the earliest they give me, it looks like most of my family was right at South Carolina, which is interesting because I know that they were at Florida and Mississippi, but not that interesting because, I mean, just thinking like, slave trade you know you come from the western side of Africa you're probably not gonna go all the way down to Florida I mean if you're taking like a straight shot it's more than likely gonna be right there south the Carolinas you know what I'm saying so that's interesting and then they also have in 1875 where there's like a black belt it's so cool how much they trace this um, but there's like a belt so it shows like where families were clinging to along that south that southern black belt or whatever um, and it just shows like the migration or whatnot um, after 1850 or 1875 or whatnot so that's pretty cool they also give like little history lesson lessons on slavery so I was looking up to that and then around the 1900s it shows where um, my family went up to the areas of like Pennsylvania um, Maryland DC area so that's really really cool um, and then at one point in time it looks like in 1925 1950 they also ended up in Illinois and Michigan um, which is dope I'm guessing they'd attract some of my family to those areas as well like I said I have family in Illinois so that's not surprising at all but I feel very good it feels amazing knowing that I have something I can pinpoint it to I mean I've heard Ancestry DNA has nothing on African ancestry. The African ancestry helps you pinpoint your actual tribes, but just having a starting point. I mean, none of my family really doesn't have a starting point. You know, I've asked questions in the past, and I don't know if anybody remembers, but we just end up with Florida. You know, some somebody's thrown out Haiti before, but I mean, we end up with Florida. We end up with Mississippi. We end up with the states. And I know who I like. I know me. And I can look at myself and know that my family did not just originate in the States. So it's just been such, it's been so rewarding. It's been very rewarding. Um, and I'm actually so excited to see, to get Terrence one as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to get that popping soon. Um, so that we can see where his family's from too. And then see what other babies is going to have while we've been on. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for tuning into my journey um stay tuned because i've got african ancestry coming through hopefully within the next year shout out to les latrice because she did mention that to me and i'm super excited um to see what her journey is going to be like so y'all go ahead and subscribe to her channel see what she has going and um yeah let's watch her journey and then we're going to come back over to mine eventually and see what we got going on so in the meantime guys go ahead and like Go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell and make sure you stay tuned for Gans TV because Terrence is returning. Yes, he is. He's coming back and we've got so much in store. So, alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a great night. Peace.